What is up everybody? Welcome back to Tank. Taylor here and today we're going to dive into the Logitech Z506 5.1 surround sound system. Now, the reason I picked this system up was because I was looking for a decent upgrade to my speakers that I had for my computer. And I was looking into a bunch of different options, uh, bookshelf speakers, you know, essentially two channel systems, maybe with a sub, so like a 2.1. And really, you know, even though it's an oldie, it's a goodie. I found the Z506. I think I got it for like 70 bucks off Amazon Prime. Five channel surround, comes with a decent sub. And it's, it's really just a pretty good system. So let's dive on into it. Let's take a look at what we get in the box. Take a look at some specifications and let's try and uh, see how it actually sounds. So diving on in, you've got your standard, you know, a little blue box that I'm sure you guys have probably seen before. Included inside is a subwoofer. Subwoofer? Subwoofer. Four satellites which are gonna be your front left, front right, rear left, and rear right speakers. Those are all operating at eight watts while the sub is at 27. And then you've got your center channel, which is running about 16. Total uh, watts RMS is 75 watts, and it's rated at 150, I believe, is the total watts of sound filling room. On the back of it, we've got our RCA inputs, our red and white. You've got a headphone jack. Now that's located actually on your front right speaker. And then you've got your six channel surround. Now taking a look at some of the back of these speakers, unfortunately, it doesn't come with any way to kind of mount it. So if you are gonna look for a mounting option, you kinda gotta get one that clamps down on the speakers. I'll try and find some, put them in the description below. That way you guys kinda have a uh, reference to go off of. So the sub is down firing. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't know what's the preference between front firing and down. i got to say I've used it. It sounds pretty good. I have pretty much have it cranked all the way up. And the sub is also going to be your receiver, essentially. That's going to be where you're going to plug in all of your satellite speakers and front speakers and everything like that into. That's also what you're going to use to run those 3.5 millimeter jacks from your actual sub to the computer or whatever else you're using that, that utilizes those kind of things. Now, with that in mind, there is no optical input, there is no HDMI. This 5.1 surround setup is really designed to be used with PC. They're all alternative ways, and I will show you one of those here in a little bit using the RCA to essentially get a stereo surround. And the Logitech is pretty good about still using its room filling capabilities to where you're getting a stereo surround, but it's still coming out of all of these speakers themselves. Diving further in, I really like the finish of these speakers. They're kind of a matte black on the front, and then the back is kind of the similar flat black. There's, It's not really shiny. It's really not gonna leave fingerprints, anything like that, so I think they really, really did a good job aesthetically. Now, you can get an upgrade to these, which is gonna be the Z, I believe it's 606, 605? I think it's the 606. Honestly, on Amazon and everything like that, really haven't seen it even being advertised. And I'll put a little picture right here of what they look like. All the speakers are the same. The center channel is god awful. It's just the same little speaker. And really, what are you going to do with that? Now, on the topic of the center speaker, this center speaker is what I love so much about this system. Yes, you can set it flat on your desk. However, it all also comes with kind of like a clamp style like you find on like a webcam or something like that. And you can mount it right above your monitor. And I'll show you exactly how I'll have mine set up. Set up right above the monitor. It looks great. Sounds fantastic. All your controls are controlled by the front right speaker. You've got your volume knob. You've got an on off switch and you have a 3.5 millimeter jack if you want to plug in some headphones so you don't have to run any cables or plug into the actual computer itself. So I tried to get kind of a sound clip from it. It's kind of difficult to really give you guys, you know, uh, an audio sample from the speakers that what I'm hearing. So I did my best. I used a shotgun microphone and you'll see the next scene. I used Star Wars, which is a great 5.1 surround sound filling, you know, intro sequence. And you can kind of get just the immersion. Um, you know, the best thing to do is make sure that your computer is set to 100 for volume and use your actual speaker settings, you know, on the front right channel, 
use that to actually be your mixer. Don't adjust back and forth. I've turned these up super loud, really didn't notice any distortion until you just go to asinine levels that you're not gonna sit here and listen to anyways. So it's, it's really a good system, but enough rambling, let's, let's take a listen. I've also got a song after that just to give you, you know, hopefully some bass feels to, to, to try and let you into what you might be able to hear. The world still exists out there. I have to find it. This existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Okay, I'll hold. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Can you, can he hear me? guys so this has been my little overview of the logitech z506 which in 2019 i believe these speakers came out in 2014 i believe and they in my opinion are still the best if you're looking for a 5.1 setup i've used a few other ones and i'm not going to lie to you these these are these really sound fantastic the room filling capabilities and everything like that sound great the bass is punchy the highs are highs the lows are lows the mids are right there it, it's pretty much got everything you need. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Like I said, I, I think I got these for like 70 bucks on Amazon, which is a steal. I, I think these are fantastic. If you wanna to upgrade to their bigger brother, which is the Z9, I don't even know what it is. It's like THX certified. You're gonna be looking at at least 300 bucks, I think. I'll put a description as well. Haven't tried those out. They look phenomenal. Uh, it's just a little bit out of my price range for just some PC speakers. If you're not looking for a 5.1 setup, guys, there's plenty of options for, for some two-channel two as well as a bass. They're pretty fantastic, but for 5.1, I don't think you're gonna get any better than this, especially still here in 2019. These are still fantastic. So guys, I appreciate you watching. As always, if you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button. If you, you know, it really helps us out. Go ahead and subscribe as well, guys. Stay tuned for more content. I'm putting out content a bunch now, really trying to stay up to date. Get everything out here you know as fast as possible so hit that subscribe button help us out help yourself out check those videos out and stay tuned for what else we have